Wearing cervical collars is very easy, but often due to lack of information about the subject, patients will often wear them incorrectly, which leads to them not getting the desired results. Hi everyone, today we'll be discussing all about soft cervical collars that are commonly used for patients suffering from chronic neck pain or acute or chronic sprains of the neck or patients with cervical nerve root compression. Now, the most important point for us is to wear a cervical collar of the right size. And two important things that we should keep in mind here are the width of the cervical collar that should closely match the width of our neck and the circumference of the cervical collar which should match our neck circumference. To measure our neck width, we ask the patient to look straight forward. In this position, we measure the distance between the lower part of our chin and the lower part of our sternal notch or the chest wall. This distance will give us an idea about our neck width which should be equal to the width of the cervical collar. Most cervical collars have adjustable velcro straps at the back that allow for adjustment of the circumference of the collar. But yet, the cervical collar should be of a circumference which is roughly equal to the circumference of our neck. Our neck circumference can be very easily measured by using a thread or a flexible ruler around our neck and that should roughly approximate to the size of the cervical collar that we use. On the basis of the measurements that we have just taken, we can obtain cervical collars in different sizes such as small, medium or large or in centimeters or inches. And wearing a cervical collar of the appropriate size is essential because wearing one which is too small for us will cause our neck to be held in an attitude of flexion that is looking down and wearing one which is too large for us will cause our head to be held in an attitude of extension that is looking up which is again not good for us. We want our head to be held in an attitude of neutral position. Now once we have chosen a cervical collar of the appropriate size we need to be aware of how to wear it properly and the proper way to wear a cervical collar is such that our chin rests on the chin supports in the front of the cervical collar and the velcro straps are at the back of the cervical collar. Some patients will wear cervical collars upside down such that the chin support faces downward. This is wrong and some patients will wear it such a way that the velcro straps point in front. Again, this is not to be done. Patients commonly ask us how long should they be wearing the cervical collar for? Wearing schedules for all patients should be individualized as per their conditions but as a general rule of thumb, cervical collars should be worn for a period of around 6 to 8 hours a day for a period of 1 to 3 weeks. Important points that we need to be aware of while wearing soft cervical collars are that we should a gradually decrease the wearing time of these collars such that we are wearing them for the maximum time during the acute painful stage and then as the pain gradually decreases we start decreasing the amount of time that we are wearing the collar for and eventually we are able to let go of the collar. It's important for us to never wear these collars for a very long time because that causes deconditioning of our cervical muscles, it decreases our neck range of motion and most importantly creates a psychological dependence on the collar such that we are always very apprehensive or anxious without our collars. The last important point that we need to discuss is about nighttime use of cervical collars. Now patients are very confused about this that should they be wearing the cervical collars to bed or not and there is no one answer to this question. In case you are in severe pain your doctor might often recommend that you wear the collar during the night but again over time we want you to stop wearing it during the night and decrease the daytime use as well. I hope you found this video to be useful. For more such educational videos please like share and subscribe.